Welcome back to Real Health and thank you for staying with us. The drive for success and the pursuit of happiness are deeply ingrained in all of us. It's probably the validation of all of our success. But can this obsession with happiness and success be unhealthy? To further chat to us about this topic is life and relationship coach Leah C4. Welcome, Leah. Great to have you back on the couch. Hi, thanks for having me. So, destination, what do we call it? Destination addiction. Addiction. Destination mm. addiction. It's quite an interesting concept because yeah. um, we are always striving for more. But what, what would you describe destination addiction as exactly? Well, it's just always the idea that the next place is going to be where I'm happy. The okay. next thing is going to make me fulfilled. My right. next job will be successful. Yes. My next home will be better. Okay. Um, and we, we, we just start bypassing the moment of now because the next thing is always where my happiness exists. Right. So it's a dangerous behavior because we psychologically and emotionally check out of mm. the present moment. Okay. And we do it in our relationships and we do it in our friendships and we do it with our kids and we do it in our jobs that we're not really present. We're physically here, yes, but our yes. mind is always, yes, yes, I've just got to quickly get this done because you know, ah. then, then it's, it's what's happening tomorrow yes. or next month or next year. Um, and it just means we're always putting our happiness in a future-based time frame, okay. which means we'll never experience it here. Yeah, yeah. So, so the present moment becomes this thing we've kind of got to get through, and only then can we get the reward. Yeah. But don't we need to have sort of um, a goal? We spoke about goals previously, but yes. you need to have a, a reason to progress forward or an ambition to progress forward yeah. in some way. How do we find the balance between still having the drive, but not forgetting about where we are right now? No, absolutely, it's important to have visions, but I think, you know, as we did discuss for, uh, you know, previously on intentions and expectations, is, is intention is where you're always coming from. Right. Expectation is always future-based, and when you want to manifest things in your life, it's very important to look at the energy that you're operating with in the present moment. Right, right. If you're in a depleted um, energy of, I don't have enough, and I, everything is lacking, and nothing is okay, it's a very low level energy. Yes, You're not yes. going to be manifesting all those amazing things that you ah, want to create. Okay. So, so there's no problem having a, a vision of where you want to be in your life, but you've got to be okay with where you are now right. in order to, to start attracting yes. that future picture to yourself. And I think the challenge is that so many media messages tell us that mm. you need the better car, you of need course. the better clothes, you need the bigger house, yes. you need to travel to the better destinations. So you, you consciously are drawn away from where you are right now and it, it can mm -hmm. become a challenge to just stop and say, I see that, but maybe later, you know? And we train uh, children from young ages to do, just look at how we speak to kids. It's like, mm. well, what do you want to be when you grow up? Yes, and make yes. sure you get good marks so that you can get a good matrix, so that you can get a good job, so that you can, you know, or go to a better university. Mm. We, we teach kids to always be looking for the yes. next thing instead of just saying, just be where you are today. Just enjoy the process of learning. Mm. Or for adults, just enjoy where you are. Enjoy being in your job. Enjoy yes. the current relationship that you're in because that's all there is in the moment of now. Yeah. So, so we, we kind of drive this behavior from very early on um, and you know that you're stuck in destination addiction when you are you know always rushing to the next thing when you don't really need to be when um, you you are always dreaming that the next house is going to be my better one yes. my next job is going to be the better one the next car is going to be the better one a big um, indication that you're stuck in destination addiction is that you have an inability to commit to a single thing because you're always worried that something uh, better might okay. come along. So it's that FOMO that you kind T of talk Totally. About. So yeah. you won't really commit to a relationship because there might be a better one out there. Yes, you know, yes. you won't uh, commit to this eating plan because there might be a better one out there. Mm -hmm. So so learning to just commit to being where you are is a huge way to, to stay in the present moment. Mindfulness practice is, is really important. Yeah. And you can find a lot of people who, can, who teach that how to be in the moment of now, using your senses, by the way. What mm. you see here, smell, taste, and touch, really brings you into the present moment yes. of what can I be aware of right now? What lessons am I learning right now? Yes. And most importantly, what am I grateful for right, right now? now? Versus, well, I can only have the lesson or the gratitude once that thing arrives ah, in my okay. life. Interesting. And I think it's quite interesting you talk about um, withholding from a relationship now because yeah. there could be a better one yeah. or, or an activity now because something better could come up. Or even if it's being invited out to a dinner, yeah. you might say, oh, I'm not quite sure yeah. because maybe there's a party that comes or whatever it might be. Mm. But it's amazing how it can hold you back from actually living at all. Because Absolutely. suddenly you might have nothing to do because you've said maybe to everything and yeah. it's all passed you by. Yeah. 
It's, it's absolutely. You've got to accept that there's always a time to experience everything. Mm. And just because you're making the commitment now doesn't mean you can't have that other experience in the future. Yes. But by not committing now, you're never actually living. Mm. You're mm. always, you know, just kind of getting through yeah. for the hope of that. It's like that mirage in a desert. It keeps moving it's, further it, away. Yeah. yeah, instead of just being where you are and, and, and enjoying being in your space of where you are now and your relationship and your job yes. and, and everything that is yeah. in the uh, real moment. Moment, otherwise you are not living and I think that people are also um, in, in the whole self-help personal growth industry you put in a position of thinking you need to be working on all of your areas of your life at the same time yes. so if you want to be successful you better be addressing your financial issues and you better be looking at your health and you better be addressing your relationship mm -hmm. and you have I just want to say please like slow down and just choose one area yeah one area that you want to focus your attention you want to be present Right now, all of my energy and attention is going to go into manifesting this that I want here right now in mm. this single area. Yeah. Then you can start spreading your energy. But we kind of try to diversify a little bit too much. And we, we dilute our focus and our energy yes. trying to accomplish all these things. And then we feel depleted and exhausted at the end of the day. Yes, so, so that's also the destination thing is that we, we think we have to address everything at the, same, at the time, same time. Instead of just bringing it to the here and now and simplifying mm. our lives. Do you find that with people that you work with, if they are able to achieve that, to say, right, one thing, let's master that, and yes. then other things almost <clears throat> naturally just start to fall oh, into place? Yeah, absolutely, because, yeah. you know, we have spoken before about those subconscious beliefs, that if you, if you don't believe you can do something, you're mm. not going to achieve it. But when you do something small that proves to yourself you can do it, it shifts your whole subconscious belief system to know that you can actually make changes in any area of your life. Right, right. So it's really proving to yourself, well, I did that, and that means I can do it in other areas as well. Definitely. So if you had to say to somebody who recognizes watching this that, oh, sure, I think I might have destination addiction, yeah. what would be the very first step, that small step that you just mentioned now, mm. to take to start to just realize what it's like to live in the here and now? Well, I think it's always painting, you know, getting clear of what your current life is versus this future that you keep obsessing mm. about. So where am I currently with in my home, with my relationship, with my health, with my family, with my finances? Yeah. You know, it's, it's writing where I am now. What am I grateful for about where I am right now? What, what can I acknowledge mm -hmm. that is wonderful in my life in the present moment? Where am I currently finding my joy? And, and gratitude is a huge um, action towards rewiring your brain okay. to think differently and behave differently, being grateful for what I'm having in the, in the present moment. Um, you can have that future picture, but a great sentence that I can give is this. How would the person I'd like to be do the things I'm about to do. Ah, okay. So you know you want to see yourself in a future time as some version of yourself. Yes, yes. Well, how would that version be cooking your food right now, ah, okay. be using the free time you have right now, be interacting in your relationship yes. right now? How would the person I'd like to be do the things that I'm about to do. Okay. And it's activating a different behavior and a different thought process about where you are now that actually brings a huge amount of contentment mm. and satisfaction here yes, versus yes. thinking it can only happen in the future. That's brilliant. So um, focusing on the here and now and mindfulness practice is a brilliant um, uh, action to apply to bring your focus and energy into the moment of Absolutely. now. Absolutely. And what a pleasure to feel, look, I've, I've achieved, you know, even if it yeah. is cooking a meal, I've achieved what I want to be achieving because it's happened. It's right here. And it's know? enough. Yes, yes. It's enough. Yeah. Having a beautiful meal with my family, that is enough. Mm. It's not lacking because I don't have it in the big house or I don't yes. have it in a foreign country yeah. or I yeah. don't have the money. This is enough for me. So learning when enough is enough and not always needing something more. Absolutely. A wonderful sentiment. Leah, thank you so much. I think you've mm. given a lot of hope to some people who may be striving way too far into the future yeah, yeah. to just enjoy now and say thank you for Good. what you have. Good. Thank Glad. you for joining us. Absolute pleasure. Thank you.